Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about installing packages in R. R is a computing environment where statistical techniques may be implemented. Packages are add-ons that can extend R's functionality and perform specific tasks covering a wide range of modern statistics. Packages are contributed by individuals. For example, you may one day contribute a package to R. They are often fairly specific in what they can do. Currently, there are approximately 5,000 packages and counting available for R. Packages can be installed using the install.packages command in R or by using the menus within R. You can access the help menu by typing help and in brackets install.packages. When installing a package in R, the default values in the install packages command will usually suffice. If you know the name of the package you'd like to install, you can type that in quotations. In this video, we'll be installing the EPR package, a package that we'll use later in this series of videos. To do so, we can use the install packages command, and here we'd like to install the EPR package. Once we enter this command, you can see R asks us to select a mirror. This is a location where the package will be downloaded from. I'm currently sitting here in Vancouver, so I'm going to select mirror number 12, Canada, BC. Once we enter this, we can see R has now installed this package for us. If you don't know the name of the package you'd like to install, you can leave the package name blank in this command and R will return to you a menu of all packages available. We can see here R has returned to us a list of all the packages available within R. If we would like to install one of these packages, we can simply click on the package that we'd like to install, click OK. Now normally, at this point, R would ask for the mirror or the location which you'd like to download from. We've already entered this once, so R will now know to use the mirror located in British Columbia. A package only needs to be installed once. Once you've installed this package, it's there for life, unless you uninstall it. Although, the commands and functions built into this package are only available to you if you load the library of commands for that package. For example, we can load the library of EPR commands. Once we've done this, we can now use all of the commands and functionality in this EPR package. Libraries disappear when ending an R session, so you must load the library each R session that you'd like to be able to use the package. You'll also find a complete list of packages on the r-project.org website. Let's take a look at that. You can see here, once on the R project website, we can click on this CRAN link to download R or packages for R. Once here, we should select our location or mirror to download from. I'm gonna select SFU as this is the closest location to me. We can see now we can get information on packages available through this link. Here we can select the packages available, sorted by name or by date of publication. And here is a complete list of the approximately 5,000 packages available. As mentioned, they can be fairly specific. For example, the ABN package, data modeling with additive Bayesian networks. Or this one here, functions for actuarial scientists. Scrolling down the list, we can see one here, Power Analysis for Random Effects in Mixed Models. Now let's head back into R. To access the help menu for a particular package, we can type help and specify we'd like help for the package. And in this case, EPR is the package we'd like help for. We can see over here, we are returned a list of all the functions and commands built into EPR, and we can access help for each of these. If you would like to delete or remove a package, 
we can do this using the remove.packages command. Here, let's remove this FER package we just installed. All of this can also be done using the menus in RStudio. I'm using a Mac here, so it will be slightly different for you if you're using a Windows machine. In RStudio, we can look under the Tools menu, and we can see this Install Packages option. It's worth noting that here we can also check for package updates. When we select Install Packages, we're brought to this menu. We would like to install it from CRAN, that's from the R Project website. Here we can specify the package we would like to install. We're going to go ahead and reinstall FER. This here is where to install it. The default is usually appropriate. And if we had not already specified a location or a mirror, here we would need to select which location we are in and would like to download from. Then we can click install. And we're all good. FER is installed again. Exploring the available packages and which ones may be useful for you can be quite specific to your area of research. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.